Inktober, day seven, and I'm still going. <laughs> I can't believe it. Today's word is exhausted, and I thought it would be appropriate to draw my OC Flisper, um, who is both the picture and the little action figure that is next to my sketchbook. The action figure is a custom um, made from two superhero figures and Spock's arms. <laughs> Flisper is the first mate of the starship Nellie Bell, and he has been besties with its captain, Rover Finnegan, since they were little kids. Rover and Flisper are complete opposites in a lot of ways, whereas Rover is this reckless ball of enthusiastic energy. He's always into something, he's, he's always scheming something, and always trying to sell somebody something. Um, he's charismatic and a little bit full of himself. Whereas Flisper is pretty much the opposite of that. He's quiet and shy and mild. Um, he's never the one to talk first, um, but he's always um, researching whatever projects they have, making sure that he knows as much about it as possible. And he is, he's also kind of the jack of all trades on the ship. He um, he can fix things, um, but his biggest talent is research. Um, he looks up the different alien species that they go see, um, and their culture, and how they should behave around them. Um, and he, as we can see here, is also kind of the ship's secretary. He gets stuck with all of the little boring jobs that Rover doesn't want to do. <laughs> But he never complains about it. He always does it quietly and content. Um, he's pretty much just happy to have a friend and be part of the community of this little ship. For complicated reasons, he was a bit of an outcast on his home planet, so um, he was used to um, kind of being ignored. And Rover, being both human and the chatty person that he is, um, he, he befriended Flisper pretty quickly, and um, Flisper was kind of shocked to have this person paying attention to him, and so he kind of sticks to Rover like glue, despite the fact that Rover gets him into way too much trouble. So the Nellie Bell is basically a flying pawn shop. Um, Rover and his crew, they go to these all kinds of different planets um, looking for commodities, stuff that they can get cheap there and sell for a higher price elsewhere. And that can be anything from dirt to fungus to spices to um, textiles, anything that Rover can find and can f and thinks he can sell somewhere. Sometimes it's just as simple as um, exchanging currency or goods, but sometimes it's a little more complicated than that. Um, sometimes the local locals insist on them proving themselves in some way to have the right to trade with them. Others might insist on extensive trade agreements. And sometimes the requirements get pretty crazy. They've encountered races, duels, tests of strength or intelligence or honor. Or like in this case, a sleepless night and four <laughs> hand cramps all at once. So I hope you enjoyed this little speed paint and meeting Flisper. Um, if you are interested in seeing any more of my work, I will have um, my art website and my um, Instagram down in the description. Um, so yeah, here we are, erasing all the pencil marks. That's always my favorite part. Oh, and I, I forgot to add a little bit of writing there on that top piece of paper. And here we are, all done.